We did the systematic review and meta-analysis of the caffeine intake and the risk of the progression of uh, chronic hepatitis C. The goal of this study because some data showing caffeine intake might have uh, might modulate in the inflammatory pathway in the progression of the liver cirrhosis and it's not quite sure about like hepatitis C infection that's why we want to see like is there any association between uh, progression of chronic hepatitis C and caffeine intake I and my co-worker we did uh, review in databases including Embase and Ovid databases and we searched with the search term of the caffeine intake, caffeine beverages and also the chronic hepatitis disease including hepatic cirrhosis, hepatic fibrosis, and liver enzyme function. We want to see, we want to compare the group between caffeine intake and not caffeine intake and see how the progression between both groups about the liver cirrhosis. We started with a huge number of the articles. We did review more than 100 articles and then we did uh, look at the outcome. We want to see the outcome of the, uh, re uh, the risk ratio, relative risk ratio, and we'll see like, like are they helping the uh, progression of the cirrhosis. Uh, and we finally, like, we ended up getting five articles including in our studies. The population is all around the world, mainly white. Most of the study they, they vary between like uh, one, cu one cup per day or like, you know, like one cup per day every day or like the uh, many cups per day. But we want to see the average consumption. Basically, if they cons if they consume caffeine compared to the, like the group that not cons consume the caffeine, average about like one cup per day. But it's a, like the average of all studies or data. We found that people in the group of caffeine intake reduced the risk of uh, advanced progression of the chronic hepatitis C 61% compared to the group like not like having caffeine consumption. It's pretty big number though. The finding of, the, uh, of our study, we see that in the caffeine grouped population, they have the reduced risk like 61% of progression in advanced cirrhosis in chronic hepatitis C group compared to like non-caffeine intake. And we also found that the caffeine group did help improve of the liver function, especially the uh, ALT. So this is surprising, but because it limited data, so we don't have the finding about the association between caffeine intake and hepatitis C viral load. I think it's the number of the, uh, the risk ratio is like, reduced risk 61% is pretty huge number though. And I think everybody like we, we, we all drinking caffeine, like, you know, most of us like drinking caffeine every day, but it's pretty surprising. It's like, it's pretty like, you know, it's lifestyle and it did help the progression of the diseases. Caffeine is, you know, it's, it's uh, anywhere and if we, if we have some more data, I think it's going to be in the future research. If we do some data helping add the caffeine intake, additional benefit to the treatment, the current treatment of the hepatitis C, we might see some interesting finding in the future. That's the point of this study. I think we all, we all get the questions from the patients, like, so we all heard in the you know, in a lot of like sources from the media, some of them like talking like, yeah, you have hepatitis C, so why don't you drink caffeine? It is really helping. So we have some period data, like we can tell the patient like, you know, it might help, uh, but we have to get like some more data, more study in the future. I think that's the like basic knowledge we can give into the patients. You know, we included all the observational studies it's not randomized controlled trial, so we not uh, we can say for sure like 
if we're gonna do a randomized controlled trial, is it gonna help or not? But I think it's the like general data that we have so far, and it's gonna be the uh, it's gonna help in the future research in the future, like what uh, what way we're gonna conduct the research in the future. Right now, I think the next step is going to be we, we plan to conduct the randomized controlled trial because we have prelim data that it might help uh, the progression of the chronic hepatitis disease. So uh, if we can do the randomized controlled trial, it might have some solid like data, solid like, uh, information we can provide to the patient because I think everybody wants to know like, like caffeine, like, is it really helping the patients or not? Chronic hepatitis C is a lot of research coming in, so we have to we have to keep up to date. All the data is like coming in every day. It's new drugs trial. It's new like data. I think we might see some you know some dramatically change in treatment of chronic hepatitis C in the future.